Hi guys, my name is Sasha. I wanted to show you today how you can use uh, OBS with Logic Pro X and without audio latency. I didn't find anything about it. I just found out that there is a plugin called Black Hole and an audio driver actually that's called Black Hole, which replaced the old Soundflower driver, which worked for audio hijacking and whatever. And today I want to show you guys how, how I did it. Okay, it's pretty simple. So you, you have good latency. I mean, I have like, my buffer size is pretty small. It's at, let me see, 256. It's not that small, but it works with a 64, or whatever. It works fine. I just put it to 256 because I have a lot of samples in this project here. But so let's go. This is for Mac OS. This is not for Windows because on Windows it's a lot easier. Uh, you go on the main page to download the plugin. You scroll down. Da, 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 you click on that thing. And then you will be there and you download this version and just install it. Double click it. Double click it. Then it will say that it's not verified by the developer. You just go here, go here to your Mac OS settings, security. And then you will go to general and you will just say open anyway. Block, black hole, open it. Then you're gonna go to your audio and MIDI setup. Hmm? Uh, maybe it will have to switch here to the show audio devices. Maybe it will show you the MIDI studio. Then you're going to create here a new block multi output device. And you're going to give it a name. I just call it OBS star record, whatever. Then you activate the black hole device here. Plus your audio interface. Whatever it is, for me it's the Sapphire, Liquid Sapphire 56 from Focusrite that I'm using. Um, and activate maybe the drift correction, I don't know exactly what it does, but it should work. After that, you created your device, you set up your audio setup, your sampler rate, and says which is the master device, okay? For me it's the Sapphire because it's the better thing. Then you're gonna go to your audio setup. You're gonna choose as the output device, you're gonna choose exactly the OBS DAW record device or however you named it. And as your input device, I'm using my Sapphire because I want to record this microphone which is connected to channel two in my audio interface. I created just an audio channel here which is called vlogging. Uh, input two audio interface, it goes here inside and it will stream directly to OBS, which is here. Can you see that? Yeah, you can. It's a little bit chaotic. Then all you need to do is go into your OBS settings. You go into audio and you select here at auxiliary audio black hole. That's all. Then you can record audio and video in stream. What I had to do actually is important for you to know. Let me show you here the advanced audio properties. I had to set a little bit of delay. 250 milliseconds did the job. <clears throat> so everything afterwards stays in sync. Wow, my English is rusty. That's it. So here I can play music. I can play whatever. It works in real time. And let me know if you have any questions. I mean, this is just a simple video. I hope this helped and have a great day or night.